For your smothered pepper jack burgers, you're gonna need some buns, ground beef, potatoes, onion, a green pepper, some pepper jack cheese, ketchup, barbecue seasoning, some Cholula hot sauce, some oil, and some salt and pepper. All right, so I've washed and dried my potatoes and we are gonna go ahead and just cut these into wedges or however you like to cut them. And I just kind of cut them like that into thirds. I just angle my knife and then go back down like so. And I'm just gonna do this with all of my potatoes. With my onion, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this root to tip. And we're gonna cut this into thin slices. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut both ends off so that I could peel it easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that peel off. Get rid of all the brown papery skin. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and thinly slice this into strips like so. And you're just gonna do this to both sides of your onion. So now for my green pepper, this isn't too spicy of a pepper, um, but you should still just be careful. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Uh, I cut the top off and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it right down the middle like this. And then if you want, you can get rid of um, some of all the seeds right here and just peel off the, the white part of the pepper so you're just left with the green. Make sure you wash your hands after doing this. Cause like I said, this isn't a very, this isn't like a jalapeno but it's still, you could possibly burn your eye after touching. So I've gone ahead and cleaned this one. And so then we're just gonna go ahead and cut it into strips as well, like so. So I'm just kind of like trying to like push it flat as I slice it to make it easier to slice. And so you're just gonna do this with uh, both sides of your pepper. For the potatoes, I'm gonna go ahead and take this barbecue seasoning and I am gonna just use half of this. We're gonna save the other half for the burgers. And so I'm gonna sprinkle about half of it on there. Just a little more. And then we're going to uh, put some salt and pepper. And then a, a big drizzle of oil. And I do have my oven preheating to 425 degrees and the rack in the very top position. And so once I get these all nice and tossed together and evenly coated, these are gonna bake in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and you can flip them halfway through. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our spicy ketchup. So I'm just gonna take the entire contents of my ketchup packet here and I'm going to squeeze it into the bowl. And then you're gonna add some of this Cholula hot sauce. I really like Cholula hot sauce. Um, and then you are gonna go, you can add as much or as little of the hot sauce as you like. I am gonna add the whole thing and make this just some nice spicy ketchup. And you're just gonna go ahead and mix that together. And there you have it. So now you have like a sweet and spicy ketchup. For my peppers and onions, I'm gonna heat a large drizzle of oil into a saute pan. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add my peppers and onions. And these are gonna cook. You're gonna stir it occasionally. And these are gonna cook for about seven to nine minutes until they have become nice and soft and then we will go ahead and season them with some salt and pepper. So just get all of those peppers and onions in. And I'm just gonna give this a light toss right now just to coat them all in the oil. And then let these cook on like a medium high heat for about seven to nine minutes. So while my peppers and onions are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and season my ground beef. I'm just gonna add some salt. We're gonna add some pepper. And then we're gonna add the remaining um, barbecue seasonings. 
And then my personal preference for mixing up meat is to just use my hand. So I'm just gonna kind of mix this and you see I just kind of like squeeze it between my fingers like so until I get all those seasonings and the salt all combined in there. All right, so that looks good. And then I'm just gonna kind of flatten it down so I can kind of see where my halfway mark is. And then I'm gonna divide this into two. And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a patty. Um, I'm gonna roll this into like a little ball. And then I'm gonna make a patty that is bigger than the bun and actually kind of a bit bigger than usual because we're gonna be stuffing this. We're gonna be stuffing it with some cheese. So you want kind of a thinned out patty because we've got to fold the cheese on top of it. And we'll kind of shape this a little bit better. And so I'm gonna just take, um, so we're using half of the cheese right now between the two patties and we're saving the other half to put on top. So only like a quarter of this cheese is going in here. Like that. You don't wanna to do too much or it's all just gonna ooze out on you. And then we're gonna kind of like fold the burger over the cheese. To seal it in there. And then I'm just gonna kind of flatten this again. Seal up all that cheese. I'm gonna flatten it like that. And I'm just gonna do that with the other uh, patty as well. So my onions and peppers, they've started to turn nice and brown. So these are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and season them with some salt and pepper. Just give them a good toss. And then what you can do is you can remove these from this pan and then just wipe it down and use the same pan to cook your burgers in but I actually would like a little bit wider of a pan to cook my burgers in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this from the heat. All right, so for our burgers, we're just gonna heat a little drizzle of oil. And then um, I've got my, my pan on a medium high heat. And then we're just gonna take our patties that we made and we are gonna go ahead and set them down. And that is what you're looking for. I preheated my pan so I would get that nice sizzle. And you can see the patties look really, come on, it's like stuck to my chest. Oh, there we go. You can see the patties look really big right now, but they'll start to shrink up. So I purposely made them oversized so that then they would fit the bun. So you're just gonna leave them alone. You're not gonna be pressing down on them um, or anything like that. You don't wanna lose any of those juices. You're gonna let it cook for about three to four minutes on this side, and then we're gonna go ahead and flip them. So these have been cooking for several minutes. You can see that they've started to shrink up a lot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and flip them. And that looks perfect. A nice char on the outside. And then I'm just gonna let this cook for um, about two minutes, and we're gonna top them with some of the vegetables and cheese. All right, so at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top um, each patty with a little bit of the onion and pepper mixture. And you're definitely gonna have some onions and peppers left over. Save them, add them to, you know, some, some eggs, make a burrito, throw in some rice and beans, you know, whatever you wanna do with them. And then we're gonna take our remaining cheese, because I did not use it all to stuff. And we're gonna sprinkle that right on top of our burger like so. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this with a lid so that the cheese gets nice and melty. While the cheese is melting in my burger pan, I'm gonna go ahead and put the buns in the oven and just toast them for like one to two minutes. All right, so my cheese is nice and melted as you can see. And at this point, you know, my heat is off, my buns are toasted, my potatoes are done. And I have my spicy ketchup here. You're just gonna go ahead and build your burger and then serve your potatoes on the side. You can serve it with some of the extra vegetables if you want. Maybe top your fries with some of the veggies and a little bit of cheese. 
Um, but you know, whatever you want to do, get creative. And as always, I look forward to your presentation.